Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing good today. So a politician, a conservative Christian politician in Britain was murdered at church the other day. Well, he was stabbed at church and succumbed to his injuries. And it's just astonishing how the media wants to suppress this like they do always whenever it involves one group or the other. Uh, this same group continues to do this daily. Um, it, it, it's truly shocking that this is continually happening, continuing to happen, and yet they are some type of protected class. It was a radical Islam, Muslim person. And, I mean, with, with this, and then whenever you look at these past few years where they're having these rape gangs and uh, all of these horrendous things, and yet they just keep acting like they are, and, and I'm not talking about themselves, uh, are doing this. The media and the politicians are acting like they are the victims in this and they just don't know what's going on. And even after this politician was murdered, they even said, we're gonna have to beef up security for in case of retaliation. What? On top of that, there's been many, many churches that, that have been burned down. It's something, it, it's really, it's a high number, one a day or something. Uh, throughout Europe and Canada and different places it, it it's just I just don't understand how people just sit there and just say oh well it's it's no big deal or they just act like they don't see it but you know what I'm really concerned with that Muslims have now started to use Christian preacher people as their source of material. Um, mainly Justin Peters. You see, Justin Peters doesn't believe that miracles and prophecies and visions and healing still happens today. So he makes hundreds of thousands of dollars with his YouTube channel, his, um, his tours that he goes around the country doing these these tours of watch out for this group or that group or oh this preacher is wrong like he is the arb of all truth or something and it, it, it it's truly crazy that he would rather feed his pride and not just him there's many but he's just one of the main ones because in their eyes and, and you can't really blame them. In their eyes, they see him as an authoritative pastor because he's got millions of views and he goes to the, the big, you know, he's always working with the biggest pastors like John MacArthur and these other guys. And um, so it looks like he's legitimate from their perspective. And so what happens is they upload Justin Peters videos and they're like, you see Muslims? Those miracles you got, they're fake. Um, or the dream you got, it's just a lie. It never happens, you see? This pastor says it himself. First of all, he's he's not a pastor. And he's, he's, I, I'm not going to say anything, well, no, you know, you know what? No, he's a blasphemous sociopath. Because anyone that is, can see all of these things happening in the world, and see how there's so many more important issues to discuss, yet for some reason spends all of his time watching videos of other preachers so they can find, they can find something wrong with them, rather than, I don't know, reaching out to the local Islam group or, or whatever, teaching them. Showing them, oh, I don't know, Act 17 Apologetics videos. He has an amazing channel. Uh, but, of course, talking about things like this gets you 
censored. It gets you shadow banned. You know, so it there's not really money in it. So I can understand from a purely monetary standpoint, talking about other Christians and even helping Muslims by doing that would be the best way to go. Funny thing is, is he's always talking about how this preacher has this much money or this one. At least they're making their money honest. I mean, these people are just horrendous. Watching, you know, what Notre Dame was not an accident, if y'all don't know. That was not an accident. And it's the same group. It's these same radicalized Muslims. And to even say that the Quran and the Hadiths don't support this type of behavior is dishonest. Because they absolutely do. They absolutely say that this is okay. This type of behavior is okay. But apparently that's not the most important thing. The most important thing to so many of these viral YouTube Christians is to talk about other Christians. It, it, it's just mind-blowing. I mean, to be in church as a well-known politician and to be stabbed and die in front of your family, your friends, your congregation, well, technically, he died at the hospital, from what I understand. But this is not the first one. This has happened to another one, and it's happened to a teacher. Multiple teachers. But yet, people are too scared to share information to most Muslims. They're too scared. But yet, they somehow are, are praised as being some type of arbiter of truth, an arbiter of um, uh, everything biblical and doing the Lord's work. That's crap. It's a lie. If they, if they truly cared, that's what they would be doing. They would be reaching out to Muslims and doing something else. Not spending hours upon hours just to find a two second clip or a five minute clip in someone's 10, 20, 30, 50 years of ministry to show how you just think that they're wrong. It's disgusting. It's, it's purely disgusting. But, um, I mean, expect to see it again because all of the politicians that have spoken about it, the ones in Britain, nobody in the U.S. I've, I've heard talk about it, um, They've pretty much just, they've pretended that he just passed away. They're like, oh, it's a shame that he passed away. That they refuse to say anything about it. Um, anything of any value. As if it's just, just not a big deal. And it, and it just has nothing to do with their religious ideology. It has, it's just because of, of lockdowns. That's what they tried to say. Oh, the lockdowns made him crazy. Really? Is that so? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. And I suspect that Justin Peters will be watching this video or somebody will send it to him. And I stand by every single word that I've said. And side note, dreams still do happen. Prophecies still happen. All of the miracles, healings, all absolutely positively still happen. They don't happen in churches that don't believe in them. And those who blaspheme the Holy Spirit, which is what they do. Whenever they say, oh, these people are, oh, the, oh that's just a demon. They have demons in them. That's why they're acting like that. It's a lie. If these people that spent, you know, with the reach that they have, if they just spent some time to, you know, 
reach out to to Muslims, I mean, they maybe could make a difference, but I don't see them doing that. The people that make a difference are the ones that go out there and heal. You know, well, obviously the person doesn't actually heal, but through the Holy Spirit and and, and these type of people, the charismatic people, the people that believe in the gospel and don't, uh, they're not embarrassed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the true gospel. But um, I guess we will continue to see such heinous things. Oh, ha Hatun uh, Tosh, she was being um, attacked earlier by this same group of people. She's a, I, I believe she grew up Muslim and she's now a Christian apologist. And she goes around and, you know, she exposes how the pre the preservation of the Quran, which they they report that the Quran hasn't had one word change in reality up until 1930 or something like that, somewhere around there. There was about 26, at least 26 different Arabic Qurans. I'm not saying they were completely different, but they were different, very, and they, they still exist. They still exist. She owns most of them. Uh, she she does a lot of great work. She was stabbed. She was actually stabbed at uh, at the um, speaker's corner in London, and she was in the hospital for a while, and punched in the face. Just crazy. Just crazy. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. If you'd like to help support my channel, please do down below, pin comment in the description. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.